Hey, what's going on sports fans? It's your boy Damian Adams from The Real Deal with Damian Adams. Make sure you subscribe to The Real Deal with Damian Adams on all platforms, YouTube, the podcast, which is everywhere. Help your boy out. I really appreciate the support. And follow me on all platforms. You'll see the name coming up somewhere where you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Really appreciate that as well. And today I'm coming to you with my reaction to Vasily Lamachenko versus Jose Pedraza. Now, before I get into the main event, the preliminaries are pretty good. First fight we had to Famo Lopez just out here knocking fools clean out. Just, just sleeping fools in that first bout. First round, he comes out attacking, has the guy on retreat. He comes in calmly after making him retreat. Real smooth like, boom, boom, pow, underneath a punch from the opponent. My man was out on his feet. You know you out on your feet when you fall. Just When you fall like that, it's over. It's done. He ain't even put his hands down. You know he was out before he landed. The female Lopez doesn't have that much experience as a professional, but I think he's ready. I think he's ready to be up there with the Mikey Garcias, the Lamachinkos, the Pedrazas, all those guys in that division, man. He's the truth. The second fight, I was shocked. I was absolutely positively shocked by the way that Isaac Dogwell lost that fight. And I didn't know much about the opponent, right? I haven't heard of him. He was all his fights were in Mexico. So I didn't know much about him. But Narate attacked so awkwardly. What he would do against Dog Bay, Dog Bay much shorter. He was his arms are eight inches shorter than Narate's. So Narate is coming in with the long reach and coming in attacking, but then we're back up. So Dog Bay's trying to wait to catch him coming in. And as soon as he swings, Narate is like, all right, pop, 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 pop. And my man, Dog Bay's face was all jacked up. Narate did an excellent job in that fight of just confusing Dog Bay and Dog Bay's corner didn't know what to do to adjust. So big shout out to him. Now for the main event, Vasil Lamachenko won the bout, and was pretty impressive at the end. But for most of this fight, he wasn't able to shine like he does in most bouts. And I think that was because of Pedraza's defensive footwork and also his length. So Pedraza also was switched from orthodox to southpaw at times, which I thought kept Lomachenko at bay. So Lomachenko normally is able to, he's able to move around people and pretty much dance circles around his opponents to the point where they don't know where the punches are coming and they're just covering up. Next thing you know, they're quitting because they just don't know what to do against this guy who's hitting them from all angles. Pedraza was able to keep Lomachenko at bay and keep him from doing that for most of the fight until the 11th round where you saw the classic Lomachenko getting in close, hitting them in all angles, just tearing them up. Pedraza did a good job of going to the body with the right hand. Whenever he switched to Southpaw, which I thought he was going to do more of, I thought he had more success. He would switch to Southpaw, he was able to get the right hand jab in there and go to the body with the right hand and actually caught Lamachenko with a few hooks. That's when he had his most success, especially that 10th round. That 10th round, Pedraza had a really good connect rate with the right hand out of the Southpaw stance. I don't know why he went away from it. But Lamachenko was very patient in this fight because he couldn't do his normal things that he does. And he was cautious because of the shoulder. But in that patience, he found a way. In the 11th round, we saw where he was able to just overwhelm Pedraza with shots and hurt him with body shots almost ending the fight. But you got to give Pedraza his due, his respect for making it through the fight, making it a close fight, or at least a decent fight against Lamachenko. So what's next for Lamachenko? What should he do next at 135? Mike Garcia is going up to 147 in March to fight against Errol Spence Jr. So that fight may have to hold off for a while. He can go up to 140, fight somebody like a Regis Prodwa. He can you know, fight somebody else at 140, or try to try his luck at 147. I don't know if Lomachenko wants to do that. But he or he can see if you know he thinks that Tefema Lopez is ready for that challenge right there. But I don't know if they're going to give Lopez that chance this soon. But great fight. 
You know, I thought I really enjoyed it. I thought Pedraza did a good job of making Lomachenko work in this fight for the victory. So shout out to Pedraza. Shout out to Lomachenko for winning. For Rate. Or no Rate, excuse me. And also to Fama Lopez, man. I think he's a future star, if not already a star in his business of boxing. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and my breakdown of the night. If you did, please press that like button. Subscribe to the channel. And until next time, go real or go home.